welcome to Fixing It Up with Sandra, where I share with you guys all things from crafting to cooking to just basically having fun in life. Um, today's episode is going to be so much fun because I haven't done it in quite some time, so I'm really excited to uh, to do this one specifically because we're going to be working with sprinkles. These are so cute. They're little unicorn uh, sprinkles. Can you see? Anyways, today we're going to be doing a soap tutorial. This is super easy because we're going to be working with melt and pour soap. So it takes all of the hard work out of it. Um, we're going to be doing unicorn poop soap. <laughs> I have the bath bombs that are currently on my in my Etsy store, but I thought let's do some soap because not everybody wants to do a bath bomb and I really love the sprinkles. So any reason to play with unicorn sprinkles, I'm game. So um, let's get started. I'm going to point the camera down, show you all of the products that I'm working with and just how easy this is. All right. Now I do apologize if you can hear the air conditioner going, it is pretty warm in here. So we're just going to go ahead and try to ignore that sound if you can hear it. So today we're going to be working with two different types of melt and pour soap. Let me just kind of fold this down so you can see um, what type of soap I'm using. So for the first, for the for the bottom half of the soap, we're going to be using a Shea Butter Premium Soap. This is what I'm using. I get this through Wholesale Supply Plus. That is the website that I go through. Um, in the box, you will get a bag of soap like this. This is a 10 pound block and this is what it looks like in case you've never ordered melt and pour soap. It is basically soap already. And then you cut it down to, you know, for whatever you need in your recipe. So this is the shea butter. I have used like the goat's milk, the coconut oil. Um, I love all of it, but for today, we're gonna go ahead and work with the shea butter. Now we're just gonna go ahead. I already have the amount that I need. And I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this down. I'm using a soap cutter into uh, basically equal parts just so it's easy to melt. Um, I'm gonna be doing this in the microwave. And what you would want to do is melt this in 30 second increments. You don't want to overheat this. Use a microwave safe bowl just gonna toss all this in here. I know it's not 100% um, equal, but you know what I mean. Uh, so we want it to melt evenly. And this is the easy part. Just chopping this up. We're gonna add some fragrance. Like I said, this is basically, this is soap already. So we, we've already taken out the hard part of making cold process soap. Although I will be learning that sometime next year, but I, cause I, I really want to be able to, um, do different like designs, like, you know, make the swirls and all that. And you really can't do that with melt and pour soap. So, um, here's what we're going to do. I mean, you can, let me just say this, you can, but it doesn't come out as pretty as cold press soap. So we're going to go ahead and put all of our soap into a microwave safe bowl and then we're gonna pop this in the microwave. We're gonna do it in 30 second, 30 second intervals. Um, but if you have an old microwave like mine, you might be doing 45. So <laughs> anyways, we're gonna come back when this is all completely melted down and liquefied. Okay, so we have our melted soap right here and I'm gonna be adding some fragrance oils to it. Not essential oil, this is a fragrance oil. I'm gonna be adding Cotton Candy by Candle Science. Like I said, we're doing unicorn poop, so we gotta make this real like fruity and fun. So we're gonna add some fragrance oils. All right, so we're gonna add that into our mix. Now, if you are wanting to get this recipe that I'm using, if you're a member of my Fixing It Together community, um, you can join my membership here on YouTube. I do hand out my recipes there. Um, other than that, if you wanna get a recipe, Wholesale Supply Plus is great with um, 
for recipes as well. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of mica, purple mica to this. And I wanted like a shimmery color because I wanted it to match some of the purple in here. So, oh my gosh. This smells like Kool-Aid. You guys ever drink that stuff? I loved it, I, I still love it. So we're gonna add a little bit more. And this is Soap Safe Mica. It's a dark purple. So we're gonna go ahead and get this all blended in here. I generally hate cotton candy. I do not like cotton candy at all. But I'm telling you what, this smell, <laughs> it smells so good. Like I said, it smells like Kool-Aid. All right, so now that we have this mixed, we're gonna go ahead and spray our four ounce mold with a little bit of um, rubbing alcohol. And then I like to do samples as well. So I'm gonna, this is my sample um, gosh, mold. So I'm just gonna spray a couple of them because I know I'm gonna have a little extra. All right. Now we're gonna be doing two layers. So I'm only gonna pour halfway in these molds. All right. So I only wanna do roughly two ounces because I'm gonna put it clear on top. And that's when I'm going to use the sprinkles. So I'm just kind of trying to eyeball this to get it halfway. These will all be four ounces regardless, but I just want, you know, them all to be roughly the same when it comes to like pouring in half of it. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we are going to do a little spray. This will get rid of any air bubbles that are on top. All right, we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do our clear layer and that's where we're gonna add the sprinkles so you can see the sprinkles in the soap. So the soap is not solidified. It's it's um, halfway there. Let's just put it at that point. Uh, let's just put it like that. But we're gonna go ahead and chop up our clear soap. And I like to work with the clear soap as a topper, like how I'm doing it right now. Just so whatever I add to the soap, like to something like this, may it, if, even if it's flowers, it's more visible um, and it just makes it pop even more. So I like the clear soap. It's just, let's just see, um, it's just soap. There's nothing fancy about it, it's just soap. So this is not like shea butter or anything like that. So I don't like to use it, um, you know, by itself, but when it's done something like this, this will be really cute, especially because we're gonna be adding these sprinkles and you'll be able to see the sprinkles in here. Um, this is what I wanted. So now we're gonna cut this up and then we're gonna add, melt it down and get this poured. I'm super excited. All right, let's go ahead and get this in the microwave. Now that we have our clear soap completely melted down, we are going to add some fragrance oils to this, the same one. We're gonna still uh, go with cotton candy. All right, do this in there. We are not going to add any coloring. We're just gonna give this a good swirl in here. All right, now we're gonna bring over our soap. Now it's not completely solid, so you just be careful when you move it. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a couple of sprinkles Ooh. to the bar of soap. Now, if you are selling this, you do have to put the ingredients of your sprinkles on a list, like you have, or your ingredients list. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on this. So I wanna make sure I get a unicorn in here at least one. All right, 
There we go. Maybe a couple more tiny ones. There we go. Now we're just gonna pour this soap over our sprinkles. Some of them might float, which is totally okay. Now, if you feel the need to add a few more sprinkles, go for it. If you want to swirl some around, go for it. You're just going to have fun. I wanna make sure that I get a unicorn, like I said. There are these cute little unicorns. Can you see that? I need to make sure that every single one of these has it so people get that these are in fact unicorn poop. Okay. I think we're good. Let me bring the camera over. We're going to spray this to get rid of any air bubbles because all this hard work, we don't want it to be ruined with air bubbles. All right, let me get the camera so you can see what these look like. Okay. Now I understand that the lighting is definitely off in here, but how cute is this? Now we're just going to let this dry. And then we'll get this packaged up and ready for sale. So here's the reveal of our unicorn poop soap. Oh my goodness. I'm so loving this. Okay. Can you see how adorable this is? Oh my goodness. I absolutely love it. So cute, I cannot wait to get these wrapped up. And the, the unicorns are still intact, as you can see. And there's the two layers. There's our shea butter layer with the purple mica and then our clear top right here. And let me just say, they smell delicious enough to eat. Now I will be putting a warning on these soaps, you know, not don't leave children unattended, um, five and younger, if you will be putting, you know, because these are edible sprinkles, I promise. <laughs> They're edible sprinkles. However, you don't want them to be a choking hazard to young children. So um, even though this is geared for young kids, you know, hopefully parents will be right there watching their children um, when they are in the bath. And so they can make sure that they don't scoop one of these up. So make sure if you're doing something like this that there are warning labels please be sure to um, make it very clear look at how cute that one i, put, I wish i would put a little bit more um, in that one but that's okay that's okay uh, i am just super excited about how these turned out i love them i absolutely love them That is the end of our super fun tutorial making our unicorn poop soap. Um, and if, of course, if you like this video, make sure that you're giving it a thumbs up so I can continue to show you more super easy, um, ready, what is this called again? Uh, this is melt and pour soap. Oh my gosh, I could not even think of the name of the type of soap so that you can do, that I can do more melt and pour soap tutorials to kind of give you ideas of what all of the stuff that you can do with it. Um, and of course, share this video with your friends. If you make some, share a photo with me. Um, make sure that you're also subscribed to my channel because that helps me so much. Um, and then that you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Um, and if you want to purchase this item or any other items that I make here on, um, my channel, you can head on over to my Etsy store. Um, and if you favorite my shop, you will get a 10% off coupon. My little dog is trying to make her way in. She's like, 
excuse me, are we done making soap? So anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm super excited to get this um, out to the public for you guys all to try. It smells like cotton candy. It smells so delicious, but um, definitely be careful if you're getting this for small children or you are making this and giving it to small children because you are using sprinkles and you want to make sure that there's no choking hazard. So anyways, I will see you guys in my next tutorial.